Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Thank you guys so, so much for checking out this banger of a video. I would appreciate it a ton before we get into it. If you dropped a like on it real quick, helps out the video and my channel a ton. And consider checking out the first link in the description below, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore Germ. Obviously, that's my Twitch channel. I'm going to be streaming there a lot more often in the near future. Uh, so check it out. That'd be dope. Let's get into it. Obviously, some of the biggest news of the day uh, started out with this tweet from Power of Evil. You know, just a lot coming out um, about the TSM mid lane situation, TSM, Power of Evil, Bjergsen, all this stuff going on. Um, Power of Evil had this tweet earlier today. He said, still in discussions with TSM, um, which is kind of interesting because most people start these tweets out uh, with like, you know, still under contract with TSM, still um, on TSM, but they've allowed me to explore other options. He says, still in discussions with TSM, which, um, you know, maybe it's just wording. I, I don't know. I don't want to reach. I don't want to read too much into it, but it just, to me, it sounded a little bit different. Like, what, 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 what is the discussion? Um, but he is exploring options for 2022 NA and EU. So kind of interesting there. He's, you know, looking for NA teams, looking for EU teams. Um, another very, very interesting thing that has a lot of people tripped up is the no buyout. Um, when you go to the contract database for the LCS, Power of Evil is signed until 2022. So why would he not have a buyout? You know, Reggie is not really the kind of guy that's just going to be giving his players away. You know, he is a obviously a, a savvy, savvy businessman. It's like, um, you know, it'd be like if Carlos was like, oh, we're selling off perks, you know, no buyout. Who wants him? That, that just wouldn't happen. That, does, that doesn't make much sense, especially um, obviously Power of Evil is not perks, but he's still very, very damn good. And there is rumors that this offseason Power, of Power of Evil is likely expected, maybe possibly going to be getting his green card, which would obviously make him a resident North American mid laner, um, which would increase his value a lot more than it already is. And he's already been seen as very, very valuable. You know, this guy is um, in a region that is usually devoid of mid lane talent. This guy's a top three, four, five mid laner, you know, take your pick between guys like him and, and Jizuke, uh, you know, I don't really know who, um, and Abadage, I don't know who you'd take over who in that kind of situation there, but this guy's in that, he's not in the Perks Bjergsen category for me, but he's, he's probably right below that. You know, I would rather have Jensen over him too, but um, yeah, he, he's very, very good, obviously, and there's a lot of teams that don't have a good mid, mid laner at all, and having a good resident mid laner allows you to have two other imports, it allows your team to be so, so much better, um, so, so yeah, him having no buyout makes absolutely no sense. You know, I, me personally, when I heard Bjergsen was potentially returning to TSM, um, I thought this would be good. I thought TSM will be able to sell off Power of Evil, get a nice little bag for him, hopefully, you know, be able to spend that money elsewhere. Um, it's kind of interesting. You know, we'll, we'll dive into that in a second. Another big thing to know here, again, is him talking about NA and EU. Um, obviously, in the past... He has been willing to take some North American offers from teams who maybe weren't so good. You know, he was on CLG um, at one point. Um, he has the, the power of Euro meme because he turned down playing on some better teams in Europe to maybe have more international success or just more success overall to go cash in on a big bag, get a big check over in North America. Um, so maybe he's matured. Maybe he's rich enough now that money's not his number one motivator. Or maybe there's just not a ton of North American interest in him, which is also possible. Um, or maybe he's just saying he wants to explore all of his options. But it does seem like he is at least, um, you know, willing to return to Europe, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, but again, diving more into this of why he has no buyout, I actually thought, um, surprisingly, uh, I want to talk about an LS tweet. I thought LS had a pretty good take on this and something that I actually agree with a ton. You know, obviously we don't see eye to eye a ton, but I, I do agree with him on this one. He said, my pure speculation, obviously he's not saying he has any inside info, his pure speculation on the PoE no buyout situation is that PoE stated in a video that when he joined, he asked if Bjergsen wouldn't just replace him randomly. I wonder if that was assured and has now been revoked if this is just a do-good to make the transition easier shower thought. And I think that this is a very, very good point. 
I think this would make a ton of sense, and I almost want to go as far as to say this might be the most likely situation and scenario. Now, there is some people out there like Thorin, who, you know, is a permanent TSM hater, who's kind of baiting like, you know, TSM, look at this disgusting org. Um, they said that uh, PoE wouldn't get replaced by Bjergsen. Now they're going to do that and leave their guy hanging. And it's like, no, um, you know, this is a situation where Bjergsen thought he was going to be retired. Bjergsen thought he was going to be done. And I truly believe that. And TSM thought that Bjergsen was going to be retired and thought that Bjergsen was going to be done. So if Power People would have asked them last offseason, like, hey, I'm not just going to get replaced by my own coach, right? You're not just going to bring back Bjergsen if the team starts to suck or something, right? They could have said, no, you're good. Bjergsen's done. He's the coach. He's retired. You know, he's moving on to the next stage in his life. And they could have really meant it. Um, and they could have offered him, you know, this or whatever, but things change. Um, and I, and if TSM did that, I wouldn't necessarily fault them because that does seem to make a ton of sense. Um, and then what are they supposed to do this off season? Once Bjergsen says that he's back, once Bjergsen, you know, is potentially showing that he is willing to return to your team, TSM is supposed to say, Hey Bjergsen, I know you want to come back. I know you're the face of our franchise. I know you're potentially the best LCS player of all time, but Hey, you know, we told power of evil that, uh, we wouldn't replace you. I, I don't think so. I think TSM would have to take Bjergsen back, obviously, in that scenario, and I don't think that's necessarily them, um, you know, doing them dirty or, or you know, TSM being evil or scum or anything again, and I definitely think that TSM having no buyout on Power of Evil could potentially be them trying to remedy and trying to make up for that situation and trying to do right by Power of Evil. Now, there are some other people like Tim Sevenheisen who has said, you know, potentially there's something in Power of Evil's contract that allows him to get out of the contract after a single year. That's totally possible. You know, we don't know the ins and outs of every single person's contract. I don't exactly know, but this thing is very, very interesting because not only it, does this mean that Power of Evil is probably going to be hitting the market? You know, one of the best North American mid laners, uh, not North American, but one of the best LCS mid laners who's potentially going to have a green card is going to hit the market. It puts, you know, more and more likely that Bjergsen is going to be returning to TSM. I know we had somebody saying that um, Travis was saying he heard evil geniuses. Bjergsen is possible. Um, but again, it, if TSM is shopping Power of Evil around, it's for a big name. It's for a reason. It's because they have something else lined up. And for that not to be Bjergsen would, you know, shock me very, very heavily. So um, not only does this give weight to the Bjergsen rumors, it's going to make it a very, very interesting market for Power of Evil. Who knows exactly where he's going to end up. Um, but man, this is a big, big shake and a big, big move coming to the TSM lineup, obviously. Um, and it's going to affect the rest of the LCS. It's potentially going to affect a European team. You know, who knows exactly where everyone's going to end up, but it's going to be very, very spicy and it's going to be a big deal. Um, we also had this tweet from Spica where he said, me and Bjergsen just got our driving permits today. Watch out Los Angeles. So, um, you know, that shows me that Bjergsen is working towards his USA driver's license, which again would be really, really weird for him to do all that and then leave to Europe to go to Berlin. I think that is unlikely. I think everything is pointing in the direction of Bjergsen returning and coming back to TSM. And that's crazy. That's exciting. That's a massive day for TSM, a massive day for LCS fans, a massive day for North America. Even if you're not a TSM fan, Competing against Bjergsen, getting to practice against him all the time, the viewership that he brings, all of those things are good for every single North American team um, and good for LCS fans as a whole. Um, we also had this tweet from uh, Robert Haynes who said he is hearing that Bjergsen is likely back to TSM with Reckless close behind him. Again, I think the Reckless news and information is a little bit more speculative. I don't know exactly what's going to happen there, um, but there is so many people saying that Bjergsen's coming back. There's a lot of people saying that Reckless is coming to TSM as well, um, and we will have to see. You know, Robert Haynes is saying he is hearing that all of this is going to happen early on in the offseason. That would be great. I'd rather have it come out than, you know, have to sweat it out or anything. Um, but he is saying that there's a lot of rumors on this one. It's starting to feel more and more likely that TSM will be getting their wish, and I think that is very, very exciting.